This is just a short video. It's a training video on how to use a Classic FTP. Classic FTP software is an easy to use FTP client that allows you to view, edit, upload, download, and delete files from a remote server or network. Classic FTP is designed to look and feel like a typical FTP client while offering all the same features as other FTP clients. Classic FTP is perfect for both advanced and beginner website administrators. Some of the features. It's a full featured FTP software client that supports transfers using a file transfer protocol via the internet, ordinary local area network, between computer or to external hard drives. And it installs in just minutes. It's very easy to use for day-to-day -day operation. Now the system requirements. Uh, either Windows 98 with an Internet Explorer 5 or 2000 or Operating System XP or 2003 or Vista. There are a number of ways to connect to a site. You can use the, um, the, menu the connect menu item or the toolbar button. Uh, you have the uh, toolbar button right here which uh, will let you collect, connect. If you click it, you will get a list that pops up. Now, right here, this is just for a testing purposes. If you have your site listed, it would show up there. Now, if your site wasn't listed, you would just click New Site and you would just add your information into it. Uh, then the other way is to go into the up here in the menu item and you can connect to which one you wanted. Again, if it wasn't listed there, you would just hit your new site and add to it. And then another way is to go to your site manager. And you can just go ahead and uh, highlight it if it's in there and um, press connect. Again, if it's not there, you would hit your add site. And then you would follow the, uh, the instruction of the add site. You have your um, label, and uh, you just type in a name, of uh, any name that you want to choose to uh, put in there. Let's go ahead and type a name in there. Um, let's say my site main, just for an example. All right, in your FTP server you could uh, enter the just enter the address for the site now this can be in a dotted IP form like 69.10.42.210 or in a domain form like ftp.viralsoftwareempire.com now you can also specify the listing port number of the FTP, ser the FTP server also now so then Let's go ahead and do that. FTP dot uh, viral software empire dot com. All right. Then we have to use a username, or whatever is given to you by your hosting provider. Uh, let's just, I'm just going to type in username just to, to make one up. It would be whatever you want. It could be um, whatever your, your hosting company gave you. And then, of course, you put your password in. Now, um, you can use the secure FTP. That's for explicit SSL. Just tick this if you want to connect to it using the secure method by, via the SSL. Um, then you go over to your initial remote directory on first connection. You can use the last recent remote directory that you went to, or you can use this directory also. It just depends on what you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the use the last recent remote directory and um, leave that one clicked. And then the next one would be your initial local directory and first connection. 
Uh, you can either use the last recent local directory or you can use this directory always. I'm going to go ahead with using the last recent local directory. And then it's as easy as just going ahead and clicking OK, which will add it in for you. And there you can see it in the, uh, the list right there. Um, and of course, if you want to connect, you can go just go ahead and you highlight it, and then you click, click click connect, and it will go ahead and go to your site. In order to uh, transfer files between your computer and the site, first you need to connect to your site. So let's go ahead and connect to to our site. I'll go ahead and we'll click on viral. And as you can see, it's it's goes pretty fast, and it is connected to my site already, and it's opened up my directory niche. To transfer your files over to that specific directory on your uh, website, all you have to do is just take the um, directory and click it. Cache one is what I'll use, and then you just go ahead and you click uh, the arrow and it just asks are you sure you want to upload selected file to um, public HTML storage niche and I'll say upload now it's going to go ahead and upload every file within that directory with the directory itself and keep all the structure of it and that's as fast and easy as it is and there we can see it's uploaded cache one and if we open click that you can see all the various files inside there and that's how easy it is to upload a, a website a whole structured website there now if we needed to uh, download some of these files all, or a file off of your server all you would need to do is just highlight it say like this is amazon.php and then just go ahead and click download the selected file and you will click this arrow pointing the blue arrow pointing the other way and it's that simple that'll pop up the confirm download and then just click download and there it is on your back on your computer again for you to uh, to adjust it or whatever you need to do with it alright that is my um, a short video on how to use a classic FTP and again if you need any help using it you would just go to your help um, over in the right uh, of the toolbar there and click that and it will open up all the uh, instructions that you will need further instructions alright thank you very much and have a great day